I have my bus bars with the holes drilled. And I now have my jumpers that I, at least the red ones, the positive ones, that I can jumper from these batteries. And, I guess that I'm going to find places to drill holes. putting these kind of lock washers because I think they'll dig into the aluminum a little bit better and make a better connection as well as preventing these from loosening up anytime anytime soon at any rate okay before I do that some cutouts in these. I guess just basically keep them away from the battery terminals. Okay. So, I'm back. And I'll be back after sawing some more off of that. There. Now those fit. Great. Okay. And now which of these are which? Assume the short one goes there. Little one seems to fit about there. Maybe I don't know. Or is that the long one? What about this. Okay.
try this again. Might be safer. All right, it's a new day. I got a set of mini wrenches. I got some two gauge cables. So yeah, they're a little longer and a little more flexible than those. And now my little wrenches come in real handy. Oh yeah, that's just right for that job. All right. All that waiting on parts. Now, I can move on to the next level. All right. And more batteries. The plan continues. You must be very, very careful with these. In fact, I'm going to get my bolts, my lock washers already. So I'm not screwing around with those at a critical moment. Okay. Blind up. You know, if I was a lot smarter than I am, I would have milled a slot 
down the middle of this and then these screws could go anywhere. The maximum difference was three tenths of a volt, which hopefully is not too much. Nothing dramatic seems to be happening. Okay, it's getting dangerous now, so I've got one end of each of these with tape on them, and the other end ready to connect. I did this for the lower level and I forgot to do it here. So I want to cut this round so that this negative wire isn't so close to that sharp edge because that could make a short and I am really, really afraid of all the power that is in these batteries. This got loose. It could really burn my boat down badly. So now I'm going to take all this back out and do that. Got that fixed again. This is underneath the table. And I want to mount the inverter and the big battery charger to the walls under here. And I don't know, I really don't want to put extra holes in the boat. I don't even know how permanent this is going to be. So, to make a temporary wall to screw this stuff to, I'm just building a wall inside this little alcove here, out of starboard. So I've got three pieces of it. that fit around the edge. And this particular lens isn't wide enough to show the whole area in here, but I guess you'll get the idea, hopefully. And let's see, what else do I have to do? I think I need the drill to drill some pilot holes and then I can screw these together get this in place and then I'll mount 
the battery charger and inverter. There were some previous holes because I had this mounted here before. And then thought it best to take the inverter off while I was assembling these pieces. But now I can put screws in and then I don't have to support the weight of the inverter while I'm trying to screw it on. There we go, see? Boom, right in place. sitting here. I know it's there, but it's yeah, it's in my way a little bit. Not as much as it might be, but yeah. It's just a small boat with not many places to put stuff. And I do want this pretty close to the big battery. Alrighty. Well, that was a thing that I did today. A little bit every day and eventually you have a boat. So, there's the table, the seat with all the batteries in it, the inverter, the 75 amp battery charger, all under the table here. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And this can wiggle a bit. I don't know, I'm probably not going anywhere. Um, let's see. I guess next is making cables for everything. <laughs> <laughs> 